Hey fellow pips, welcome back to the channel. If it's your first time here, welcome. Now, am I disappointed in the fact that the Photography Show 2020 has been postponed till September? Man, that is an understatement. I am so, so, so disappointed. I'm disappointed that much that what I decided to do when I found out was to try and source the items that I wanted to look at at the photography show, then get them shipped to one location. I have found a 14mm Fujinon 2.8 prime lens. I have found a 55 to 200 Fujinon lens. I found a Fuji rep that has got an X-T4 for me to grab and have a look at. So I've decided to get all these items in one location, the location obviously where the Fuji rep was going to be, and that was the London Camera Exchange at Leamington Spa. So I've packed the car up, I've got the X-T2, I've got the X-T2 grip, I've got the 105 Canon macro lens, the Sigma version, um, and I'm not calling it a day on macro. What I'm going to do, because I used to have to put an adapter on and use it manually, it's not what I wanted to do. So what I'm going to do is look at either the 60mm or the 80mm uh, just to see how I feel with them. And if I'm interested, then I'll pick one of them up later on in the year once everything else is out of the way because they're not a cheap lens. And they're rare. You don't often come by them on the second hand on the second hand market so that's something else that i really really want to look at just to be completely um fuji rather than have to put an adapter on so i don't mind the 105 sigma going although it's been a fantastic lens and i will miss it because it's occasionally you'll just think oh i'll go and do a bit of macro um but it's not the end of macro for me i'm going to get the fuji macro lens and i'm going to go out and have a play with that when i don't know but uh it will be this year now am i disappointed the fact that the photography show has been postponed till september yes 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 i am mega mega disappointed so do you know what i've done i've scattered the internet and i've looked for all the items that i want to view and i've had them ship to a location where i can easily go and view them and that location is the london camera exchange in Leamington Spa. Now the reason why I've chose Leamington Spa, it's roughly about one hour from where I live, which is probably the same length of time as it would have took me to get to the photography show. And the reason why I chose Leamington Spa was because there's a Fuji rep here demonstrating the X-T4. <laughs> so I had the things that I was wanting to view shipped here to uh, the London Camera Exchange and it's just there over my shoulder so hopefully they're going to let you join us in the store i'm pretty sure they will and uh, we'll have a look at some of the items they've got on display for us to have a look at oh i'm excited <laughs> let's do this What a great day. What an absolutely fantastic day. So the first thing I want to talk about, obviously, is the X-T4. And my thoughts on the X-T4 is it's basically the, no different to the X-T3 in the way we're going to take photographs over and you're, you're in your video. So you've got independent stills and video menus, which for me is absolutely brilliant because when you normally flick over you're still in them weird settings that just don't work for video and this time you're going to be able to just keep it independent and separate from anything else that's going off in the camera so for me that was a brilliant shout out obviously the ibis now i can imagine for handheld video as long as you're not running around or anything like that that ibis is going to be absolutely brilliant it works on the sensor being 
um, held in by magnets rather than springs like on the the or cushions like it was on the uh, XH1 this version is magnets so the magnets are just basically keeping things in order uh, so yeah that's going to be really interesting to see and obviously anything that's going to aid you in your videography or photography it's a thumbs up um, what else really shone for me the battery now for me no more grip no more splashing out a couple of hundred quid on a grip and extra batteries you know, you're not going to need that this is going to be ample you're going to get your other battery and it's a case of just switching them over you're going to just get two batteries the one you get with a camera and then pick up a spare as well so that way you're going to have no fear and you're not going to run out of power in your camera so that that's another brilliant absolutely brilliant thing from fuji and it's a long awaited about time to fuji well done low lighting it's all the same it's all the same so you've got to add up the fact is it worth getting an xt4 over an xt3 yeah <laughs> definitely yeah um why why not why not i just it's just everything about it uh, i really really like the way it felt in the hand uh the size compared to the xt3 is minimal um it's, it's just a nice new shiny camera and now the xt 2 has gone I've definitely got to get it get it i was hoping that it was going to come out soon like at the end of this month but apparently it's probably going to be now the end of april it just says delayed it didn't say when it was going to come it just says late spring hmm. oh let me talk about some of the lenses that was there on the table oh that 8 to 16 mil with the big bulbous lens what a weight and they apparently got it on uh, a sale at 1395 pound just want to say a massive thank you to everybody at the london camera exchange in royal leamington spa guys the information and the fact that you let me have a play with all these little toys in the shop was much appreciated and i'm still buzzing now so what did i pick up i picked up a 14 mil 2.8 fujinon prime lens and I picked up a 55 to 200 which in my mind I was sort of do I need it don't I need it I absolutely loved this lens uh, some of the image quality from it is amazing and just look at some of these pictures that I've took I, I also the I also picked up a Fujinon 55 to 200 mil lens which i absolutely love now i was in i was probably say i was 80 percent sure i was going to buy this lens um and the things that were stopping me was the fact that i'd got the one th um the 18 to 135 and i thought well do i really need this and then looking at the reviews and it is a totally different lens and using this lens at Chesterton Windmill and the way the background was compressed against the windmill and the fact that there was no distortion and what you see is basically what you get when I was looking at this and now look at this image although it's been edited with its saturation and uh, clarity this was basically the way I saw this image it was that I'm on about the fact that there's no distortion in this lens absolutely stunning it's going to be beautiful for portraits when i do my next wedding shoot next month it's going to be stunning uh, it actually i'm not lying when i say this it did actually remind me of the um 70 to 200 l lens i used to have with the canon you know the image because obviously it is a similar it is similar and for me it it just the quality of that lens the 100 to um sorry the 70 to 200 l lens is second to none absolutely beautiful and this lens does not does not fall at any of the hurdles it's up there with it and for a third of the price i paid 400 pound for it used from the london camera exchange 
which for me, an £800 all day long, absolutely brilliant. Same again, I paid £360, I think, which was the cheapest I'd seen anywhere. It looks a little bit scuffed and scratched in places, but I think that's just cosmetic dirt that I think in time I'll just be able, when I get a chance, I'm just going to sit and clean it up, just make it look a bit better. The lens cap's a little bit rough, but that's a lens cap. It's no problem, is it? It's a, a few quid. Uh, the lens hood ain't brilliant. I'd like a square one just to make it look a little bit more retro, uh, which will fit with the camera. So that is it, and I'm pleased with both lenses. I'm, I'm going to now show you some. Um, I'm going to show you some images that I took while I was at the the Chesterton windmill. Um, but I also took the 10 to 24, the lens that I love, that goes with me everywhere never leaves me and i'll never leave it it's absolutely fantastic take a look at some of these images <laughs> 